Salve, salve pessoal, Thiago Dais aqui no canal, tô mais uma vez com meu amigo Tim Van Der Vliet, falando lá da Holanda. Hello, Tim! Hey, man, how are you? Good to see you again. Very nice, nice to see you too. E hoje, uh, algumas pessoas têm perguntado, entrado em contato com, comigo, para falar das oficinas que vão acontecer agora em setembro por cinco capitais. E depois eu vou dar mais detalhes sobre sobre essa turnê. Mas algumas pessoas me perguntaram sobre a questão da depressão. Se o método Wim Hof pode ajudar é, como um tratamento, como um preventivo e como é que ele pode atuar no nosso sistema neurológico. So, Tim, what I'm saying is that a few people have been uh, getting, to, getting back to me and uh, asking about depression and how the Wim Hof method could help either as a as like a preventive or actual treatment for for depression and how does that affect our neurological uh, system yeah um okay so so first of all uh, this is i don't always agree with win uh, with wim hof but on this we totally agree is that you know if you have a depression it doesn't mean that it's your own fault. It doesn't mean that you should learn to think positively and that it's your own fault. Uh, you know, it means that you have a lack of certain, uh, a certain biochemistry in your brain and therefore in your body. Okay. Então, tem certas coisas que eu não concordo com o próprio Wim Hof, mas nisso a gente concorda que quando você está deprimido, isso não é a sua culpa. Você não tem que ficar se martirizando para poder ficar pensando positivo ou ter pensamentos felizes. O fato é que quando você está depressivo, você está com níveis baixos de serotonina no cérebro. Cool, man. Yes. And um, what is that lack of biochemistry, also known as happy hormones? Right, so the happy hormones I am aware of is oxytocin, serotonin, um, dopamine, and endorphins. Now, the Wim Hof method is not for all, but through the breathing, you uh, make more dopamine after like a breathing session of like half an hour, according to Joe Rogan, you know, the famous guy in America. He says that after 20 minutes of Wim Hof breathing, you make five times more dopamine. So that's the breathing. And then cold training releases a little bit of dopamine, but also a load of endorphins. So out of the four, out of the four happy hormones, two of them, are you okay? Yeah, are yeah. Kid, or, is it, or is it a kid? <laughs> Is it a cat or a kid? No, ah, it's, oh, it's, it's my baby. So, <laughs> so after... Hello, baby. So, um, the Wim Hof method gives you dopamine and endorphins. And both by the breathing, you get dopamine. <laughs> by the cold training, the ice bath, you get endorphins and dopamine. Okay. Bom, então, é, o Tim está citando os quatro tipos de hormônios que conhecidos como hormônios da felicidade, que são uh, que seriam oxitocina, dopamina, serotonina uh, e endorfinas, né? E os, o método Wim Hof ele não cobre tudo, né? Todo o sistema hormonal, mas com a respiração a gente consegue em meia hora liberar mais cinco vezes uh, os nossos níveis de dopamina. Também de endorfina no treinamento com o frio, a gente libera endorfinas. E what about serotonin? You mentioned as well, serotonin is increased as well? No, no, um, but I will get back to that. Yeah, it's a little bit more complicated, but that, okay. that would be the next thing to say. Ok, ok. Eu perguntei sobre a serotonina, mas ele, ele falou que é um, complexo, é um processo um pouco mais complexo, a gente fala depois. Então, só para fechar que esses hormônios, então, eles têm uma é, ligação direta com os nossos estados de ânimo. Né? Então, em uma vez que a gente está segregando mais através do, da prática do método, a gente está nivelando de novo essa bioquímica nossa. 
great. Okay, so about serotonin. Serotonin is made in the pineal gland, and that is exactly in the middle of our head. Pineal gland in English, pineal gland in American. Pineal. And, um, and um, we have very strong, it's not evidence yet, but a very strong idea that it, it, it looks like, but we don't have the scientific evidence yet, but it looks like that the breathing, the Wim Hof breathing, is also releasing DMT, D-methyltryptamine, which is also known for the, the, the stuff that is in, for example, ayahuasca, that makes you like go trippy. Now, DMT is a serotonin-based molecule, but it doesn't make serotonin. Sorry, so uh, it's it's a base. Uh, say that again, so I'll, I'll get my head around it. Yes, that's right. So DMT and serotonin is made in your pineal gland, and DMT is a serotonin-based molecule, but it doesn't transform into serotonin. But and this is how I understand it, and this is you know all the evidence here keeps on moving, but. How I understand it, if you make more DMT, it doesn't become serotonin, but there is ser there is more serotonin left for other processes in your body. So basically, oxytocin is the one, you know, the hugging hormone. So if you would do the Wim Hof method and after the training, hug everybody, which is all, all always happening because there's a very strong group connection, you basically get four out of four um, happy hormones. And, you know, according to Wim and according to me, if you're depressed, it is because you have a lack of these hormones. Right. So um, maybe you want to translate. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> Bom, eu vou primeiro falar em, é, sobre a serotonina, que existem algumas evidências, algumas, na verdade, algumas convicções, não seriam umas evidências ainda, que nós fabricamos, na verdade, nosso cérebro é, fabrica uh, o DMT. O DMT é uma molécula que tem, é, tem base com a serotonina. I, I, I didn't quite get what you meant about DMT and serotonin because uh, yeah. from what I understood, it was like uh, DMT would trigger serotonin, serotonin production in the brain. Because... Uh, okay, I maybe. That, I, I don't know everything about this, but... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, no, I think okay. that's good info. Ok, so basically, um, enfim, o DMT, é, que também é presente em alguns alimentos, ele não é, vamos dizer assim, ativado no nosso cérebro por uma questão que tem alguns inibidores, que eu acho, maybe I'm tripping a bit on the explanation, but uh, there is something about the inhibitors, because when we eat tomatoes, you don't get high on tomatoes, and tomatoes are very high on DMT. But they are inhibited. They're uh, they're kind of cancelled by uh, something mm -hmm. in your brain. But for example, when you do ayahuasca, mm -hmm. that's why you have the two plants together because one is ha very high on DMT and yes. the other one uh, works as an inhibitor, which will prevent the neutralization yes. of the DMT. And that's what it afterwards it's treated yes. like serotonin. Uh, so that's that's. Yes. That's, that's the correlation. What's just the missing link is how the breathing is connected to the production of DMT. That's what we are not so clear about. Well, yeah, and that, we don't know that yet, but there's many breathing structures who claim this is the DMT breath, but I haven't really seen any hard evidence of that. So most people are just, you know, blurting out, this is science, blah, 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 and, and are not critical to the information. I'm different there. I'm a nerd. And I'm honest also if I don't know. And um, what you just said, that is, yeah, that is, it's very interesting. I'm, I'm just, you know, a student for life when it comes to this stuff. Forever I will study about this because I find it interesting. Ok, so let me wrap around so, um, thing, just uh, so people are not... Yeah. Uh... Bom, o que a gente estava falando, então, são das várias implicações e relações que o DMT tem com essa, com esse hormônio, a serotonina, ou, uh, e o que que, como que 
a relação que esse tipo de respiração que a gente pratica no método, por muitos é falado que é, desencadeia a produção de, de DMT no nosso cérebro, né, pela pineal, uh, mas aí a gente ainda não tem evidências científicas de que de fato isso está acontecendo. O fato é que, isso eu posso atestar por é, experiência pessoal, durante a prática da respiração DMT, que a gente chama assim, uh, você, eu realmente alterei meu estado de consciência. What I'm saying is like, uh, having an evidence or not, experiencing the DMT breath, I went through a kind of journey. For me, it was very, it was very interesting me that too. time we did. Uh, so, né? Então, o ponto é, eu acessei outros estados de consciência com essa respiração. E agora, se a questão é se está produzindo DMT ou não, a gente ainda não consegue uh, ter pela ciência que that's what's happening, que isso está acontecendo. Ok, I think. Eu acho que ficou mais ou menos claro o que yeah. a gente quis dizer, né? Ok. Mm. So, um, a little bit about scientific research. You know, um, I've met many, many people say like, this is just like a DMT trip or a ayahuasca trip. And I personally feel the same. So, testimonials is a start, but it's not scientific evidence. It's only scientific evidence if you do like a real research from an independent uh, financer who doesn't have anything to do with the outcome and cannot make money on it. You have a blind group, the group that doesn't do the breathing, measure their DMT, and the, say, the Wim Hof group. And um, I have never seen any research like that. Not yet. yet. But according to the testimonials, definitely DMT is produced. Right. Ok, então a questão finaliza assim, né? A gente não tem ainda como comprovar isso cientificamente, porque não existem estudos sérios que não estejam é, de alguma forma conectados com os resultados, né? Indústria farmacêutica e tudo mais. Mas o ponto é, as, né, os testemunhos da, de quem experienciou é sempre positivo nesse sentido. That's very nice, that's very handy to know. Um, so, yeah. do you want to move on to the other topic that you had mentioned before? No, I think um, I want to mention something more about depression, you know, like, would it be my advice if you're depressed and you are on medicine? to just quit your medicine and start doing the Wim Hof breathing? No. Okay. You know, the pharmaceutical world is not completely bad. And sometimes you do need medicine. But what I would do is, it, it can't, cannot do any harm. And if you are on medicine, you start having a daily practice. First you come to our training, of course, sales moment. Um, you practice the Wim Hof breathing on a daily basis. And if it feels good, you start building down your medicine. And there are enough testimonials of people who are without medicine, from heavy medicine to mo no medicine, because of the Wim Hof method. So, according to testimonials, this can help you get medicine free. But okay. there's, again, there's no like serious um, scientific research about it yet. But, you know, like, in time, of course. Ok. Uh, então, o que o, o, o Tim está também deixando bem claro é que se você está sofrendo de depressão e se você pretende é, né, vir ao nosso treinamento, venha, mas saiba também que o importante é você não, não achar que a, o fato de você fazer o treinamento isso já vai te liberar da, do, dos medicamentos, né, se você está tomando medicamento. Então, tenha em mente isso. Vai fazendo os seus testes, né? Depois do treinamento. Vai praticando diariamente até chegar um ponto que você se sinta seguro bastante para ir diminuindo as doses e até cortar. Porque nós, assim, não podemos atestar isso, né? E nem prescrever isso, que você corte os seus medicamentos de maneira alguma. Mas temos testemunhos de pessoas que, que saíram completamente da, do medicamento depois que conheceram o método Wim Hof. That's right. That's that's good. That's nice and clear. So, uh, should people stop? I mean, yeah, I mean, not um, stop, but uh, should they? Uh, 
would they would be okay to go in a nice bath and while taking medicine and they don't they don't clash do they oh yes no problem no problem no okay. problem okay we have there are some anti indicators for the method but it's not uh, the use of um it's not the use of medicine it's only when you have extreme cardiovascular or extreme heart issues we don't want to take the risk basically okay um but medicine is definitely no problem i mean also like whatever whatever drugs is not, is not a problem so that is good okay excellent so is that it or is there anything else to say yeah no i think this is it we have another subject but i see you with your kid <coughs> i have to put my kid to bed as well okay uh, europe times it's too late already um and um yeah i want to mention that um for all the people that book a ticket we will have like a, a webinar afterwards you know for the aftercare nice. because it's you know during a training or a two-day training you learn a lot <coughs> but um afterwards you may have questions so we will organize a webinar on some day in probably a sunday or something that people are able to uh to join and afterwards they we we deliver aftercare basically exactly. and i think that the other subject which the other subject uh, we can do tomorrow or the day after and this is about can the wim hof method help me with my autoimmune illness uh, okay cool all right so let me just wrap around bom então tá então a gente vai resumir aqui e dizer que para quem as pessoas que virem vierem no nossa nas nossas oficinas que vão acontecer em São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Belo Horizonte, Florianópolis e Porto Alegre e todas as informações estão no tiagdas.net depois eu ponho o um link vamos ter um, um webinário para a gente tirar dúvidas para a gente se encontrar e ver como é que a gente está indo na nossa prática como é que a gente está assimilando né, todo esse conhecimento, que é muito intenso, né, os dois dias que a gente vai passar juntos. E, uh, sim, e o próximo tópico que a gente vai estar tá fazendo no próximo vídeo vai ser se o método Wim Hof pode ajudar nas doenças autoimunes. Então, fique ligado. Em algum momento, essa semana, ou de repente na outra, a gente vai estar tá postando esse vídeo. Ok, Tim. So, I think we've done it. And, uh... We should have another yeah, yeah. one next week or maybe the end of this week. Let's see how it goes. And we keep everybody posted, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so take Bye. care. Take care, see you later. Oh, uh, she's so sick. Yeah. Yeah, she's a bit <laughs> cute. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>